keep it moving now. Don't you see what I'm doing? Let's get it, 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 let's get it. I'm Aaron Crane, and this is your Region 9 Recap. Over in Hurricane, the Tigers took on the Snow Canyon Warriors. Let's send it to our Big O Tires fan cam as the Tiger student section gets ready for the game. Talon Kelly would take the snap and buy some time as he would throw up a lob in the air to connect with Cale Johnson for a 50-yard touchdown and the game's first score. And that will bring us to our Jones Paint Glass Big Hit of the Week as Archie Threffle would lay the hat on the runner. The Tigers would keep marching as Dylan Gabriel would throw a bomb down the field to Austin McRoberts for a 37-yard touchdown strike. Then the Warriors would respond with this touchdown from Kelly to Cale Johnson. The Warriors would press on the gas scoring again, this time from Kelly to Conrad Green. Just as the Tigers started to mount a promising drive, Gabriel would be picked off by Trayvon, who would take the interception clear back for a touchdown. Final score in this game, Snow Canyon, 42, Hurricane, 14. Over at Desert Hills, the Thunder took on the Dixie Flyers. And this will bring us to our AWP Play of the Week. Dixie would strike first with a big run from Rand Sawyer, who would take it 73 yards for the score. Bull Wall would get the Thunder on the board with this touchdown pass to Javian Cummings. The Thunder would get the ball back and take the lead with Titan Mason taking the direct snap and crossing the goal line for the score. But Dixie wouldn't back down as Junior Coughlin would take the handoff and go 40 yards for the touchdown to keep the game close. The Thunder would respond again with Wall taking it himself for this touchdown. The Thunder would add a field goal by Tristan John to extend their lead. Dixie would get a big stop and force the Thunder to punt, and Rand Sawyer would field the punt and take it to the house for the score. And in the final minutes, Dixie would retake the lead as Wyatt Truman would take it himself and stretch over the goal line for the touchdown. The final score in this game, Dixie 27, Desert Hills 26. Up in Cedar, the Reds hosted the Pineview Panthers. Cedar would get on the board first, with JT Jeter fielding the punt and going 41 yards for a touchdown. Cedar would then get in the scoring position again, and it was Trayden Elliott taking the handoff and getting into pay dirt. Then in the fourth quarter, Cedar quarterback Everett Kelly connects with receiver Ammon York for a big pickup. That would set up this touchdown run by Crew Giles a couple plays later. Pineview did get one more score on the board as Brock Harris catches a pass from Adam Moore for a four yard touchdown. The final score in that game, Cedar 28, Pineview 15. And over at Crimson Cliffs, the Mustangs took on the Stansbury Stallions. The final score, Crimson Cliff 62, Stansbury 20. The Region 9 recap is brought to you by Finley Subaru, Jones Payton Glass, State Bank of Southern Utah, Dealer Collision Center, Big O Tires, AWP, Nets on Fire, The Rally Stop, and Intermountain Sports Performance. For St. George News, I'm Aaron Crane.